Welcome to a supplemental video by Lane Creations Log Analysis Made Easy. We have been covering how to work IT service intelligence. And while we've covered KPIs and services, we don't. I'm not going to really cover anything brand new that isn't already in this video playlist. I'm just going to add in some KPIs. So if there were some things that you, maybe this will help set the topic better in your mind. Uh, but anyway, we've got, we left off and we had three services all contributing to an overall service score. Now the issue we've got is only one, one of these services has KPIs. So we need to get some KPIs in there. And so one of the things I've done is I went and made another search. So if we come here and we do a search, I now have a cells index. Cells. And so basically we've got data coming in of things we've sold. And if we look at them, um, we've got, what do we got in here? Well, that's not a great name, host machines. Well, that's too bad. I should have changed that. Oh well, you make you list you you make some mistakes. So if I go table machine name, what a horrible host name. There we go. We've got the we've got hats, t-shirts, and subscriptions that Lame is selling. Uh, so let's go put those in. If I come over here, we need to get, we now need to put entities in. So I'm going to come to my indexes. I'm going to go settings, sorry, ITSI, IT service intelligence. We got to go get that entities and we're going to add those entities in. Configuration, entities. So I'm just going to add them in manually. We're going to call it hats. Add another entity, t-shirts. and subscriptions. So I hope we're seeing here, we can have anything we want as entities. You can have IPs, you can have, uh, these are like sales products, etc. And so those are my subscriptions. All right, now, we're going to want to make sure we give these aliases since we put them in manually. We're going to edit, put in edit columns. Cancel. Okay. Subscription. Bulk action. Edit the selected, add info field, aliases, subscriptions. Refresh. Okay, that didn't do it. There we go. <sighs> Alias is there. That was it. I just seemed to screw it up. There we go. Add aliases there.
that out of there. Okay. You want to do that, and I'll show you why. And maybe it's 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 not a problem anymore. But when you start to do your entity breakdown, if it doesn't have the alias here, sometimes it doesn't break it down by the right entity. So I just put that in there. We're going to have two of them that don't have that alias, and one of them that does. We're going to make sure it doesn't break when I make my uh, KPI. All right. So if I come into my services, we're going to go into cells. We need to get a KPI in there for the amount of stuff we're selling. We're going to new KPI. Store sales. Still this first line. and its values, right? What's the field? It's value. Okay, not values, value. Right in here, value, that's the field I want. Next, we want to break it down not on total things being sold, but by entity, so yes, but by entity, we're not using host, we're using machine. What was, I cannot, brain is definitely not firing today. Host machine. Select it. Look every five minutes. We're going to do a, this time we're just going to do the sum of everything sold. Sum, last five minutes. Fill gaps with custom value of zero. No monitoring lag, nothing else. Sure, let's backfill. Yay, I've got cells and per entity threshold, so I can see the hats, subscriptions, everything else. Working like a champ. Okay, there's no service dependencies. We could change this. All right, back to KPIs. Thresholding, let's turn a threshold on. So add a threshold, add a threshold. Keep this really simple, normal. Actually, normal would be this one. And we'll go with medium when cells drop below 30. And this will be 31. This will be, sorry, this will be zero. This will be 30. And we'll add one more threshold. Make this 30. Make this 10. And this will be medium. This will be critical. This will be normal. So if we're selling more than 30 items, we're in the normal range. If we're getting only 10, then etc. Now we're going to break it down on the per entity thresholds. Three thresholds, let's do three, two, three. We're going to say normal is, oh, sorry, critical would be at zero. Medium would be at 10. Let's go eight. And this would be normal, and that would be at nine. Let's move that to five. There, I'm good with that. 
So there's our thresholding and we can see everything. It's all good and happy. We hit save. Let that go power in the KPI on my service. And if I went to check the settings, we're going to make this. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I'm going to move it all the way to 11. There's only one KPI, so that'll be the 11. Remember, the 11 states that whatever that this score is will be the minimum this can be. When you only have one item, it's all going to be the same, but whatever. Let's save. Okay, now if we go back to our default analyzer, refresh this page. Cells doesn't look very good. It's, I'm not dreadfully concerned. The data is going to start coming in and cells will be fine. Again, the service just started. Give it some time. When we did the lame YouTube, it was red as well. And anyway, so now let's go to lame infrastructure. We need to get some infrastructure. The easiest way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to do index equals internal. Um, let's see. Stats count by source. Let's go grab that one. Stop. Stop. I'm going to go grab our health log. And again, I'm just trying to get some metric source equals, but I don't want it to take long at all. So I'm just going to grab these logs. Theoretically, I should be not looking at a count. I should be looking for a value. Um, is it healthy? Is it not? But for the sake of this, just logs coming in, the health logs, are they coming in? Um, so we're going to come in here and we'll go to service definition. We're going to go back to services. So we're going to do lame infrastructure. We'll add a new KPI. Works for me. And now we're just going to go grab, since we're just going to look at how many are coming in, we'll just grab one field from here, which I'll use source. Sure. Next. Split by entity. There are no entities here, so we'll leave it alone. So nope. Only have one set of infrastructure logs. If I had infrastructure logs coming from, uh, internal logs coming from many Splunk instances, I would, I would change it. All right, we'll look every minute. We're just going to do a count over the last five minutes. Null value is zero. Next, next. Sure, we'll do a backfill. And we can see here's my internal logs coming in. So that looks good. We're going to go hit finish. Put some thresholding on there. Cool. We'll just uh, add a threshold, add a threshold. Critical is when we're at zero. Medium is when we're at 150. And we'll add another threshold, and that's normal. We'll go up to 250. Oops, sorry. Add 
at 180. There we go. Anything above 180, we're good. Okay. So we hit save. Got myself a new KPI. Okay, and I could change the settings here, state the importance. We're done. We're going to come back to my default analyzer and refresh this page. I should now have all of my services in there, all of my KPI, my services will have KPIs. I can drill down into them, etc. Notice cells has gotten better. And the reason store cells has this exclamation is that's a kind of a concept that it's gone it had problems. Oh, lame infrastructure. There's my critical infrastructure logs. We should probably go put them. Let's go make that. Let's go make that 11 just to, just to keep consistency. Hit save. And those will start coming in. Anyway, in a little bit, I'll have all three of them. I can move around. I can look at my cells. If I go into my cells. I can actually see all the entities and how they're selling, things like that. I can see the overall, and then here's them broken down by entities. Infrastructure, I won't be able to drill down because there is no entities there, but I can see the amount of logs coming through over time. And this will clean up in a few minutes. This will flip to green. This will end up going green. I'll have a nice, big, nice, happy green environment anyway and so now i've got my very first service it's got kpis i've got dependencies i've got multiple kpis going and it's we're well on our way um hope this is helping you with your uh, journey from being a lame analyst to a splunk ninja and i'm hoping you're enjoying these itsi trainings uh please comment down below if you have any questions concerns comments also feel free to join my discord channel uh right go into my discord and write any questions you have if there's videos you want me to cover or create please let me know i tend to try to build my videos based off audience uh requests and hope this has been helpful and i hope you keep coming back for more videos